the radius of the sphere through point of contact is perpendicular to the tangent plane. Now let's see whether we can prove it or not. Let's say the sphere is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz plus d equal to 0. Now there is a point P on the sphere, surface of the sphere. Let's say x1, y1, z1 is its coordinates and the equation of tangent plane at P is going to be x x1 plus y y1 plus z z1 plus u x plus x1 plus v y plus y1 plus w z plus z1 plus d equal to 0. Let's open it up x x1 plus y y1 plus z z1 plus u x plus u x1 plus v y plus v y1 plus w z plus w z1 plus d equal to 0. Now let's again do regrouping. Okay, so let's take this and this. What we'll get is x1 plus u x plus follow the same pattern y1 plus v y1 y plus z1 plus w z so this is over this is over ux vy and wz what we are left with is u x1 plus v y1 plus z w1 plus d equal to 0. Now the direction ratios, you have got the equation of the plane. Um, the direction ratios of the normal to this plane would be what? Is x1 plus u, we can write it as coordinates y1 plus v and z1 plus w these are the direction ratios of the normal to this plane now the direction ratios of the line joining the center c that is minus u minus v minus w and the point P are going to be x1 plus u, y1 plus v and z1 plus w. So as you notice the direction ratios of the normal to the tangent plane is the same as the direction ratios of the line joining the center and the point of contact which means the radius through P is perpendicular to the tangent plane at P. So it's something like this. This is the plane. This is the normal to the plane and this is the direction ratios of this line and DRs of this normal is the same. Right? So since the direction ratios are same that means they are both parallel to each other. So since they are parallel to each other let me right let's say this is center this is normal right so uh, if I have to put it I would say ds of pc is equal to ds of normal which implies that pc is parallel to 
vector n since n is perpendicular to let's say this is the plane is perpendicular to s therefore therefore pc is also pc is also perpendicular to s okay another uh, interesting aspect is you have the sphere the equation is x square plus y square plus z square plus plus 2 ux plus 2 vy plus 2 wz plus d equal to 0 uh, if you want the tangent plane a straightforward way is you know you can treat one of the x's as x1 so x x1 plus y y1 plus z z1 plus now this x you again convert it into x plus x1 by 2 so 2u x plus x1 by 2 plus 2v y plus y1 by 2 plus 2 z plus z1 by 2 plus d d leave it as it is okay so this would become what x x1 plus y y1 plus z z1 plus 2 2 gets cancelled so u x plus x1 plus 2 2 gets cancelled v y plus y1 plus z plus z1 w i missed 2 w w plus d equal to 0 so that is the equation of the tangent plane okay now how do we know we have a sphere right part of the sphere uh, uh, what is the condition or when do we say that this plane tangent plane is touching the sphere right that would be possible only when the distance from the center to the plane is equal to the radius yes the moment it becomes equal to radius it is exactly touching the sphere so let's say we have a plane we don't know it is a tangent plane only if it touches it would be a tangent plane so we have a plane lx plus my plus nz equal to p the sphere is x square plus y square plus z square equal to r square so we want to know what is the condition that has to be satisfied for this plane to be the tangent plane so we know the center of the sphere is what here in this case since we have taken this particular equation that means the center is at the origin so 0 comma 0 comma 0 and let's say this is the center and the radius is r let's put this c here okay so the condition with, would be if the plane touches the sphere only at a single point on the sphere then it is a tangent plane which implies that the distance from the center of the sphere must be equal to the radius if they are equal and we know it's very simple we know distance from a point to a plane is minus p by square root of l square plus m square plus n square is equal to r so if this equation is satisfied then the plane is a tangent plane to a sphere now if the center of the sphere is at some other point let's say x1 y1 z1 not at the origin 
then this would become x minus x1 square plus y minus y1 square plus z minus z1 square is equal to lx1 plus my1 plus n z1 minus p divided by square root of l square plus m square plus n square so this is at the origin and this is not at origin what the center Now remember we took the sphere as x square plus y square plus z square equal to r square. Yes. But let's say instead of this, the sphere is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2ux plus 2u 2by plus 2wz plus d equal to 0 then and let's say the plane is lx plus my plus nz equal to p then the condition for this plane to be a tangent plane would be lu plus mv plus n w plus p square is equal to l square plus m square plus n square u square plus v square plus w square minus d if this condition is uh, satisfied then this plane would be a tangent plane a tangent plane So that is some of the interesting aspects of spheres, tangent planes and centers of the spheres. I think that's enough for today. Bye for now.